real quick. I want to cover this and talk about this real quick because it's probably the most unprofessionalist thing I've ever said. But we're talking transmission and I'm also a realist. It happens sometimes. All right. So we're talking transmission. Now, listen, if you're replacing your transmission because um, it was burnt, highly contaminated or anything like that, you have to, I repeat, you have to flush your cooler. Flush your transmission cooler. You're supposed to flush your transmission cooler after, you're supposed to do it after any kind of major transmission re uh, repair. If, if nothing else, verify that it's not restricted. Now, in some extreme cases, you have no transmission flush. You have no transmission cooler flush machine, okay? But that's not acceptable. That's not a reason for you to not even verify or try to verify that the cooler is not restricted. If nothing else, you have to make sure it's not restricted. Now, as far as being uh, contaminated, that's a slim chance you can live with that. But as far as restriction go, you will simply burn up the new unit you just put in, okay? So I'm gonna show you a way if you now, now keep in mind it's only if you don't have the machine uh the flush machine if you don't have the right tools to do this only resort to this tactic if you don't have the proper equipment okay i'm gonna go over with you uh <laughs> i can't believe i'm doing this but it i'm a realist man it happens sometimes either your machine broke or you just simply don't have one but if nothing else if all else fail do not i repeat do not just uh, hook up the cooler lines after you just replace the new unit and let it go that car will be back imagine if this cooler the cooler is housed inside of the radiator imagine if that's restricted you would essentially starve this transmission out and burn up the new one you just put in so these transmission cooler have to have flow the machine we use will overheat or we heat up the transmission fluid and flush it out both ways but I understand some of the newer cars uh, they're using uh, one-way valve and one-way check valve you're not allowed or you can't use those machines anymore if you don't have the new machine uh, you probably need to get the new machine if you're going to be doing transmission work but again I'm going to show you a quick way not so professional way to flush out or at least verify that the cooler is not restricted all right let's get it all right ladies and gentlemen here's a water bottle empty water bottle here's your two cooler lines one go in one come out what you want to do is verify that it's not at least restricted this is not a cleaning way this is not a way to clean your cooler but a way to verify that it's not restricted i got one end in the bottle i'm gonna take an air hose like this and blow through the other end if it blows through chances are the cooler is not restricted now we want to swap ends we want to do it on the other side again if i'm not cleaning the cooler i am merely blowing it out uh, verifying that it's not restricted but restriction is way more important than a clean cooler all right let's do this side see that it's blowing out that means the cooler is not restricted again i can't overstate this i'm not cleaning the cooler i'm simply verifying that it's not restricted and it is not now it's safe to put this on that is a quick tip a not so professional way to do your cooler after you just replace a transmission all you're doing is verifying that the cooler is not restricted. Last thing you want is to restrict the cooler after you just put in a transmission. The car will be back and your brand new transmission or your reconditioned transmission will be burnt up again. Ladies and gentlemen, this cooler is not restricted. I have no machine. There's no machine available. This car really got to go. Customer on the way. So I had to do what I had to do. If you're ever in that situation, do what you got to do. Thanks for watching.